Sometimes, <coughs> my mind indulges inside weird imagination, trying for desperate escape from impending doom, where my precognition runs into the tattered remains of melancholic memories. And that, my friend, is the pleasure of being cataract to madness, ineffably blissful with the scrambling grief of caterwilling inside thoughts, of which heart shrinks into the play of mysticism. That plays the unparalleled terror, defying gravity and moonlight, incantations of high rushing nostalgia, taking me back to one place, Hamlet, where I become, feel, and see like sex fair dude. And I contemplate upon things, to be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it's nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end, to die, <coughs> to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartbreaks and thousand natural sobs that the flesh is hired to. It's a consummation devoutly bewitched. To die, to sleep, no more. And in that fraction of a second I reach the Mount Sinai and soul where Moses is telling the Israelis that I am, that I am. I am, that I am. I am, that I am. In that explosion of a second I reach the Mahabharatian ground where Arjuna is telling <coughs> Krishna, Aham Brahmastu, I am the universe. My friends, this is my melancholy.